The monastic life only comes alive when contemplating its toilet arrangements, not monks stumbling down the night stairs at three in the morning to sing the first office of the day, not the sound of prayer and praise unceasing sent heavenwards from altar and cell, no. What fires the popular imagination is stuff from the toilet plopping 20 feet into the drains. God is dead, shit lives. Wanting toilet paper or paper of any description, the monks used to wipe their bottoms on scraps of fabric, linen, muslin, patches of tapestry even, which presumably they would rinse and rinse again before eventually discarding them. Some of these rags survive excavated from the drains into which they were dropped 500 years ago and more and here now find themselves exhibited in the Abbey Museum. The patron saint here, whose bones were buried at Rivaux, was Aylred and it is conceivable that one of these ancient arse wipes was actually used by the saint which at the time would have made it a relic, something at which credulous pilgrims would come to gaze. But what are these modern day pilgrims gazing at but these same ancient rags, hallowed not by saintly usage, it's true, but by time? And time alone? They are old, and they have survived, and there is an increment even in excrement, so sanitized by the years and sanctified too, they have become relics in their own right and more pilgrims come now to see them and these other remains than ever came in the age of faith. We are differently credulous and our cults are not the same but saner, wiser, more rational. I I think not. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs>